Hello and welcome to my second video about the Yamaha Tenorion iOS app's MIDI features. This time we will have a look at MIDI output. To show off the basics, let us first connect a synthesizer to the iPad. I'm using the Apple Camera Connection Kit and a cheap USB to MIDI cable. Other core MIDI compatible interfaces should work as well. As I already explained in the MIDI input video, the Tenorion features 16 layers that each correspond to a MIDI channel. And this is also the case for MIDI output. This means that I can program a sequence of notes into layer 1 for example, and if my synthesizer is listening on MIDI channel 1, it will receive the note data the app is playing. The Tenorion app outputs note and note length data only. Let us have a look at the different layers. The first seven layers, and thus MIDI channels, are score layers, which work like regular step sequences. Layers 8 to 11 are random layers, which play notes randomly. You can also apply rotation to your note matrix for some extra randomness. Layers 12 and 13 are draw layers, which let you record sequences in real time by drawing on the touch screen. Layer 14 is a bounce layer that bounces notes up and down to create evolving but less random patterns. Layer 15 is a push layer which holds notes. Layer 16 is a solo layer, which triggers notes at various intervals as long as you hold your finger on the touch screen. For more details on the layers, refer to the app's manual in the system menu. Now, since we have 16 layers that can all play at the same time, let's connect some more instruments. I'm using my computer's MIDI interface and Ableton Live to route the Tenorion app's data to the corresponding devices. Other DAWs and or MIDI interfaces should work too. I created a sequence in layer 1, which goes out to the drum machine. Layer 2 plays the nanotes work from before. And layer 3 goes out to the microcorg. Those were all simple score layers, but you can of course mix it up with random layers, draw layers, etc. Last but not least, let's have a look at the outgoing MIDI sync. I set up Ableton to external mode and to listen to MIDI sync messages. And of course, the Tenorion app's synchronized setting is still set to master. The Tenorion app will play a rhythm on the drum machine, and Ableton will play a piano pattern. It could take a couple of seconds for the Tenorion app and Ableton to synchronize, but after that it becomes pretty stable. Alright, that's it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to write me a message or post them underneath the video here on YouTube. Have a great day and thank you for watching.